Welcome to a Bora Bora bungalow at the Polynesian Village Resort. We're gonna head inside for a quick room tour. As we head in, we have this really nice entryway. You can hear the fan slash air conditioning is pumping with how hot it is. But some really nice artwork as we first enter in with the bungalows there on the right. Got this really fun um, kind of digital version of a light switch so we can control the lights on and off and they're available, of course, throughout the space with some standard outlets in some of the rooms as well. Right here on the left-hand side as you enter is going to be the first of the two bedrooms. So this one has a queen-size bed. It faces the front of the bungalow. So you have a nice little bench to sit on. You can actually see there's a bench on the front porch as well. And then we do have a closet here for you to store all of your belongings. So a nice um, shelving and hanging space. So plenty of storage in there, as well as a pull-down bed right underneath the TV here. So if we pull this down, got some really fun artwork of Lilo and Stitch sleeping. So this room could sleep three. Then we're gonna head back into the main hallway. And then as we are heading straight to the back, right here on the right-hand side is going to be the master bedroom. Really fun artwork above the bed here. You got some tiki mugs. You've got some of the tiki idols from the tiki room. Nice king size bed here with some fun little hidden Mickey towels. This room does have the access directly to the outdoor patio area, um, which we will see in just a moment, but you do have direct access and some really nice windows where you can see straight into the water of the Seven Seas Lagoon and we can see the bungalow next door to us. Some more Polynesian artwork and then the closet for this room. Now this room does have some towels, let me, or some robes. Gotta move my bag out of the way. So we do have some storage in here, a couple drawers, some nice robes. They don't say Polynesian, but they are very soft. And some extra pillows and blankets up there as well. And then below the TV in here, we do have more storage. So you can see some additional drawers for clothing. Of course, the Maui lamp, my favorite part of the Polynesian rooms. And then you do have some USBs, some outlets on the desk space here. You have phone and a sitting area. So if you want to get some work done, really nice, comfortable chair. And then attached to the master is going to be the master bathroom. Got a double vanity here, really nice countertop. Love the, the artwork in here, the color palette um, with all the browns and the blues and lots of windows. So you do get a good amount of natural lighting in here. So we have some windows above the mirror right here with the tub. Now they are kind of frosted. So, you know, no concern with privacy seeing in or out. It is very frosted, but it does not look like there are any blinds or anything. So those are going to remain open. And then you have really nice size master shower with a rainfall shower head, very tall with the standard Disney toiletry products there on the wall. Really like the tiling on the floor as well. And then we have another door right here, which is going to be the toilet with some mermaid artwork right above. Let's see if we turn the light on. Really nice artwork in here as well. So now if we make our way out of the master, we're gonna make a right and we're going to have the second bathroom. So this will be the primary bathroom for anyone staying in that, the first bedroom we looked at, not the master. But you also have the safe here in the hallway space. You have an ironing board, more extra pillows and blankets for the living room bed that we're gonna see. You have your iron, laundry basket, and the laundry basket is in here because right behind me is going to be the washer and the dryer. So that is gonna be right here, right off of the main hall bath. So if you have some laundry you need to do while you're staying here, that is of course going to be available just like any other DVC unit. And then if we take a look, the nice part is it is a split bath. So even though it is in the hallway, you have a room here with just the toilet and a sink. Really fun decorations in here with the artwork. Got some tropical serenade tiki room art and some conch shells. And then separate, we have another sink 
and the shower. So really nice that you know, somebody can be getting ready, not holding everybody else up from going to the bathroom. So this is gonna be a standard shower tub with a second vanity here. So really like that. Kind of reminds me of the Disney cruise ships where you have the split bathrooms. Now we're gonna make a left and head out into the main living room. So here you're going to have a really nice wide open living space with two chairs. You got a sofa here. Now this sofa is also another bed. So really, really nice artwork of stitch. And then this does pull down into another bed. And just to take a look at the artwork, really nice Polynesian art. And it does fold, fold down into a full size bed as well. Over here, you have some space to store clothing for anybody that might be sleeping out here in the living room. Really cool artwork of the Jungle Cruise. Love that we're tying in some extra Adventureland elements into here. You do have a Hey Disney device that's available in, I believe, all of the Disney resorts now. And some additional charging there with outlets and USB ports. And then another pull-down bed. So here's this one. Electrical pageant artwork with the Polynesian behind it. This one has probably got to be my favorite. That is really cool. Um, but again, this can then sleep three out here as well. So lots of space for gathering during the day and lots of space for guests to sleep at night. You have really tall ceilings, so this room does feel really massive, which is nice. You have a big dining table, so all of the friends and family that are staying with you have a place to eat. If you want to bring food back to your room, you can, of course, mobile order from Captain Cook's, but they also offer mobile order at Kona Cafe. So if you want to take advantage of your dining space or if you want to bring food to cook, you do have a full kitchen. So we have a full-size fridge. We did bring some drinks so that we can have, you know, some sodas and everything that um, we can enjoy while we're sitting in the bungalow. And then of course, if we wanted to cook, we do have the, the ability to do so. You do have your oven down here, a stove top, microwave, and a dishwasher. Nice little window above the sink looking out. So we are down towards the side near the TTC so we can see the ferry boat loading right there as well as the bungalow next to us. One of my personal favorite elements are the tiki mugs and the tiki details up above the kitchen space. And then last but not least, of course, one of the most exciting parts is going to be the outdoor patio. So we got the Polynesian music playing as we come out here. We've got a nice dining table for four, two full-size lounge chairs with really fun Polynesian pattern on them, a little table in between. So if you have a drink, you can put that down on the table while you're out here. Two of these really fun kind of basket chairs that you can sit on that are right by the door that takes you into the master bedroom. And then probably the, the most unique element of the bungalow is going to be the private splash pool. So if I can open this one handed, you do have a shower right here. So if there's a button on the wall that's gonna activate your little shower if you wanna shower off before or after getting in the, in the splash pool. And then you have your little splash pool here. So not a huge pool, but really nice to uh, cool off here in the, the summer weather. And of course, enjoy Happily Ever After from within your own personal pool. So can't complain about that. And you have your volume knob here as well. So they will pipe in the music for Happily Ever After directly to your bungalow patio. So that is absolutely something we'll be taking advantage of and watching the fireworks from the comfort of our bungalow. But that is going to be the entirety of this Bora Bora bungalow. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe and we'll have some more resort room tours coming soon. But thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.